Well, hello. How are you doing, my loves, my darlings? We're going to do um, messages from your guides about your connection, your love connection. Currently, what do you need to know? So we've got pile number one and pile number two. Pile number one, pile number two. Pause the video if you need to, to choose, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, it really helps me out, so thank you. Okay, fantastic. Let's dive on into pile number one. Hello, welcome. What do your guides want you to know about your connection? I'm getting a very, very busy mind here. There's a lot of um, questioning, a lot of sort of energy being put towards your person. Um, and, you know, sometimes that's uh, called for, that's necessary. And sometimes you don't really need to do that. Let's see. I want to find out what your person is thinking about you here. We've got a lot of conflict. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, my darlings. Look, we have walking away leaving something behind somebody right here you need to hear this it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for you you may not want to hear it you can come back to this video when you feel strong when you feel ready um to hear this uh, your guides are just saying here it's head versus heart it's not an easy choice head versus heart we've got heartbreak Three of Swords. Oh, I feel like someone is tearing up. This is a male energy. Your person here. I feel like, you know, if, if they don't want anyone to see them crying or being emotional. This is someone who does not easily show emotions. Look, they're standing back to see what you're doing. This could well be an earth sign um, that we're looking at, uh, but we'll have a look at signs in a second. Yeah, this was a two of cups connection. What that means is this was uh, possibly past life link. You have a strong, strong bond with one another. It goes deep. It could, could have felt, you know, very much like a twin flame connection. That is the past life energy. It's very intense. There's a lot of attraction uh, between the two of you, but it has a shelf life. It's only lasts for so long. We have here 10 of wands energy. Your person is burdened right now. They can't really handle um, a connection like this. Yeah, it's time for a new cycle. Things will be restarting. Things will be restarting. You, at the moment, um, you have a lot of wish fulfillment coming your way. The wish fulfillment may not be to do with this um, person, may not be to do with this situation, but you have your own pathways to follow just now. You need to realize your own strengths. That is why they've come along here. The lesson I feel in this situation is not to teach you how to love one another, um, and how to be uh, successful together, but it's actually how to be successful independently um, on your own. What else do we need, please? Yeah, I feel like they're always kind of, they've always got one eye or, you know, some of their attention is on you. They're always kind of looking, waiting, wondering. They think about you a lot here, Phil. Third party energy. Mm, this could well be a third party situation you're not aware of. I feel like there is a balance, there's sort of a fine line here between the karmic energy um, of uh, being attached to another person and that unconditional love that you feel for your person. This person also feels like it's going to be a lot of hard work in order to come back towards you because they feel like, you know, they, they are very aware they need to fix themselves and heal themselves first um, before they make any attempt to come towards you. Yeah. They will return, though. They will return. It, it could take some time, though. Let's just ask quickly 
how long before this person comes back. Uh, we have third, this third party is always going to be there. But again, this is a card of return and celebration. I feel like it's very much like it's open. Um, it could take three years potentially for this person to get themselves ready. But you also need to be ready as well. The two of you, you need to go your separate ways right now. Um, find your own success, find your own stability. And you will, you have this option of returning to one another in the future. You may not want to, you may feel like you don't need to down the road here, but for the time being, you need to focus on yourself here um, because they are focusing on themselves over here. Um, now I am getting, I, I got the name Pete or I heard the name Pete. I don't usually get names, so I have to give it when I get it. I feel like somebody wears something around their wrist here. If it's like a bandage, they wrap around or something. It's like they tie something around their wrist or wrap something around their wrist. Um, I kind of get a really strong um, aroma as well. It's like... <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't, I want to say something really manly kind of, but really generic as well. It could be something like Lynx or Old Spice, but I, I kind of, I get that very strongly. But I need to say to you, part number one, you are guided and protected in your choices here. Everything happens for a reason. So my darlings, take care. Lots of love and light to you. Um, if you want to hang around, we are moving on to pile number two. Pile number two, hello. We're doing a quick fire round here. What your guides want you to know about your person, about this situation that you are in All right now. Pile number two, please. What does pile number two need to know? Thank you. I feel the need to invoke angels, guides, and ancestors here. So pile number two, you could well have been asking, what is this all about? What is this all about? A lot of sevens here, a lot of sevens. Seven is obviously that spiritual number everybody recognizes. It's sort of a lucky number as well. But we have here, someone is getting ready to take action. They sort of step forward a little bit and then they kind of go, well, hold on, let me just wait. They've got a lot of frustrations they're dealing with right now that are kind of outside of their control to do with work, to do with their finances. Um, it's, it's very difficult for a lot of people right now. We need to try and be as uh, compassionate and understanding as we possibly can. We do have some communication coming your way very fast. Could well be this weekend, or actually heard <laughs> this weekend. Oh my gosh, I have the hiccups here as well. It, <laughs> somebody watching could well have the hiccups. <laughs> Uh, we have full card energy. Um, also, I'm kind of looking at the person here who is driving or they're hearing this. Um, somebody is on the road. Pay attention to the road. Um, but we have full card energy here. Someone is getting ready to take a chance, take a leap of faith. They want to come towards you. I'm just seeing good friends. So this is someone you you could have known for a while. You feel like you're a friend zone. Um or, you know, maybe it's safer to be friends than be in a connection. I don't know. They're just telling me to look at the bottom of the deck. Uh, we have Hermit energy. We have Virgo energy at the bottom. This is introspection, reflection. Think about, is this what you really want? Okay. We have for you also Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is not uh, a gender specific reading. It is a timeless reading. The Queen of Pentacles here, she's wonderful. She's stable. She's strong. She is a karmic person, a karmic partner. You represent very much um, this person of stability. There is only one choice when it comes to being with somebody uh, like this, um, and that is long-term commitment. So that is what they're looking for here. We do have some doubts, though. We have a pathway to choose. What is that all about, please? We'll see number seven again. So we have three sevens here. Angel number seven, seven, seven. Um, if you, I want to say that is your synchronicity number for the next few weeks. Um, you start seeing that number a lot. Just know you are on the right pathway and things are about to change here for you. you see, we've got that word frustration coming out again. But luckily, we do have the wheel of fortune. So things will turn around. Uh, they may take time, but yeah, I've 
they they are going to turn around we have the ace of pentacles here for you also so when this person is available they've got everything um happening they could be waiting on a new job they could be waiting on promotion or some overtime or something like that i feel like finance seems to be the thing that's um getting in the way um, but they will be coming towards you. In the meantime, they're definitely going to be checking in with you, keeping things going. This feels like a nice, grounded, steady connection. So fantastic stuff. Par number two, thank you so much for watching. Um, take care and have a wonderful rest of your day.